I'm tired. I'm tired of begging, surviving, existing instead of living. I'm tired of being a wishy-washy woman. I'm always apologizing, defending myself to you. Why can't you see me? I'm the product of my grandmother, mom's love, and she would have starved to death before she begged anybody for anything. I am not angry. You've never seen me angry. You don't know me well. Hell, you don't know me at all. Why well, you would take a mere expression of my opinion as anger. Should I not speak? Should I not express myself? Should I allow you to continue to judge me? You're going to think what you want anyway. But I'm the product of my grandmother, Mum's love. And her mother before that. And her mother before that. And her mother before that. I see the light. I fed you what you needed for years. Like when I was angry at my mother, you ate it all up. You couldn't see me without asking, how's your mother? And when I responded negatively, you ran back to the square hole that you live under. You hear what Corrine said about her mother? I know she couldn't or she didn't know how to love me. I mean, she had been to me long before I came to America. But at least she showed me that that square hole that you live under was hell. I strive for better. Yeah. I'm the one that you love to have at your party. Because with me there, you could be the best thing. How you get to fight? Where you get fight to go? No, and darn well, you hope I stay that way so you could continue to shine. Because with me down, you could be up. But if that's all you got, you ain't got nothing. Because I could fix my teeth, I could lose the weight. Hey, I could have my breasts done on an installment plan. But what I've gained in here, you can never take away. You call it mad. You call it mad because I will go to therapy to overcome the negative impacts on my life as a child. But I see it as being strong, not weak. To make sure that my children will never suffer as I did. And if they do, just a little, they'll know how to help themselves. I'm building us a strong foundation, yeah, that will last generations to come. You know, if you focus long enough on the thing you hate, you will become it. 20 years, 20 years of built up frustration, sadness, loss. You can't see that. Emptiness, loneliness, longing, needing, wanting, needing to be loved, needing to live. I'm tired. I'm tired of feeling guilty. Guilty about my color, guilty for eating, guilty for living. I'm tired of dying slowly, watching life pass me by, existing instead of living. I'm tired of being the wishy-washy woman. I deserve to live. I deserve to live. And I will live. Now.